Hi, I'm Mrs. DeMarco's daughter, Sarah, and today, for the read aloud, I'll be reading Tap Dance Fever by Pat Brisson. I'm reading this book because I loved it as a kid. It's about a girl who dance, who is a dancer, and she tap dances all the time, and I'm a dancer, and I know many of you are dancers, so I thought you would like this, and I, it's one of my favorite books. I love it so much. So, let's get started. Annabelle Applegate was the tap dancingest girl in Fiddler's Creek. She danced so much, she wore out the linoleum in her ma's kitchen. Linoleum is flooring. She made ridges along Creek Road on her way to school. She even danced a hole clear through the rickety old schoolhouse floor. Folks asked her to stop, but it did no good. Annabelle only heard the song in her head that made her feet want to move. No doubt about it, she had tap dance fever and it wouldn't let her go. I love all the detail in the illustrations in this book. Like the little crow and all the little trees. So keep your eye out for all the little details. Something must be done, declared her teacher, Mrs. Hagglehorn. She called an emergency meeting at the schoolhouse that very evening. She's a nuisance. A nuisance is like a bad kid who is a distraction, cried Mrs. Ethel Pontoon. My chickens refuse to lay because she dances past my farm every morning. She's a danger, shouted Mrs. Hagglehorn. Look at the hole she's danced through this floor. She's a hazard, said Mr. Har Harville T. Stone. When I hit that ridge she danced into Creek Road, I blew a tire on my truck and busted up my glasses. That's all of them in their little meeting. Well, said Mayor Peachtree, what should we do? Everyone thought for a minute. Maybe if we put enough dance to find stuff in her way, She'll get frustrated and forget all about it, said Harville T. Stone. Folks figured it was worth a try. They ran home, got all the toe-stubbing, ankle-twisting paraphernalia. Paraphernalia is a fancy word for things or stuff. They could find and dumped it all along the creek road. They thought that would be the end of it. This is the meeting, and this is all the stuff in the road. But the next morning came along, and Annabelle tippity-tappity down Creek Road looked at the mess left by the townsfolk. Then Tippy tapped carefully forward. It was slow going at first, but finally she skippity-skipped and tippity hopped over every bit of food, foot, bustin, heap of refuse, and invented a few new steps in the process. She arrived at school just as the bell rang and danced through the rest of the day. That night, the townsfolk met again. We need another idea, said Mayor Peachtree. Everyone agreed. Deputy Thistledown was sent to get Annabelle's beloved tap shoes. People were convinced their worries were over. But the next morning, along came Annabelle, tippity tap, skippity slap, tippity hopping down Creek Road, bottle caps nailed to the bottom bottoms of a pair of her daddy's old work boots. Is this mess still here, she asked in surprise. Spying a dump truck down the road, she got an idea. Slappity hop, kick. Tappity slide, kick. Tippity hop, slappity slide, shuffle step, kick. She soon kicked every bit of dance defy and refuse smack dap into that back of that truck. Having done her civic duty, and invented some new steps, Annabelle danced through the rest of the day. Oh, look at that. 
truck. Kicking all that stuff into the truck. That night, a frustrated group of townsfolk met again. What do we do now? Take away her work boots, declared Mrs. Hagglehorn. Everyone agreed, and Deputy Thistletown was sent off again. Surely their problem was over now. But then, oh, here's the picture. But the next morning along came Annabelle, shuffle step, tappity, tappity, heel toe, tappity, tappity, shuffling left, shuffling right, all along Creek Road. Pennies taped to the bottoms of her bare feet, passing Mrs. Ethel Pontoon's farm. Heel toe, tappity, tappity, heel toe, tappity, tappity. She heard an unexpected hiss through stunned Though, stunned to see dozens of rattlesnakes in her path, she couldn't keep her feet still. Tappity rattle, tappity rattle, tappity tappity tap. Rattle, rattle, hiss. Oh. Annabelle couldn't believe it. They were dancing right along with her, knowing better than to take the rattlesnakes to school. She led them to a stage at the empty fairgrounds farther along Creek Road, where curious passerby stopped to watch. Excuse me, sorry. <laughs> Before the day was over, folks from six surrounding counties had heard of Annabelle Applegate and her tap dancing rattlesnakes, and she'd invented even more new steps. Changes were fast and furious after that. Annabelle set up a regular schedule of performances and charged admission. With so much traffic on Creek Road, the county decided to pave it. Annabelle's tap dancing ridges were gone forever. Tourist money poured into town. The rickety old schoolhouse floor was replaced. Mrs. Hagglehorn, who'd secretly longed for a career in the theater, designed a red spangled costume for Annabelle to wear in the show and sold tickets at the weekend performances. See, that's her spangled costume. Mrs. Ethel Pontoon finally realized the rattlesnakes, not Annabelle, were causing her chickens to stop laying. With them gone, her chickens produced like never before. She opened a stand to sell the extras. Harville T. Stone, in his new glasses, looked so debonair that a certain local widow invited him to dinner and baked his favorite pot. He convinced her to go pie sell. Excuse me. He convinced her to go into the pie selling business with him. With her earnings, Annabelle replaced the lin linoleum in her ma's kitchen and built a dance studio where she offered lessons to anyone with a hankering to learn. The whole town came to her open house. When they ran out of small talk, everyone called out, Dance for us, Annabelle. Annabelle tapped to center stage, took a deep breath, and smiled broadly. I'll be happy to, she said at last. And Annabelle Applegate danced straight on till morning. The end. That's the back. See the spine. The cover goes all the way around. So, just a little round snakes with the chicken. I really hope you liked this book. If you did, make sure to share it with your family because it's very it's a fun book and um my mom will see you again tomorrow for the next reading.
Bye.